If you rescue a pod of beached false killer whales, they often beach themselves again and sadly die. Though we don't know the exact cause of this behavior, those who speculate that the megalodon still lurks in the ocean say that false killer whales are so terrified of megs that they prefer to beach themselves rather than risk becoming prey. So even after rescue, they beach themselves again to avoid these deep sea dangers. But a better explanation is that they usually hunt with their pod near shorelines, and when they target a seal, it may escape onto a beach, and in the chase the whales can strand themselves in shallow waters. Unlike orcas, which may survive a beaching and return to the sea when the tide rises, False killer whales usually can't, because when they beach, they lie on their sides. And as the tide rises, water covers their blowholes and suffocates them before they have a chance to swim back to deeper waters. Even if somehow they manage to return to the ocean, they are still at risk. False killer whales often suffer from crush injuries during the initial beaching, which cause toxic breakdown products. And when they are back in the water and the pressure on their bodies is relieved, the toxins are released into their blood. That's why